Hello, today we're going to follow the route of the Banzer Coal Railway. It ran between Stayfoot Junction and Nossel near Wakefield. It opened in 1863, finally closing in 1961. We're at the site of Stayfoot Junction on the Great Central Line looking towards Barnsley. Our line went off to the right here and roughly followed the line of the Dern and Duff Canal. Despite its name, there were three passenger stations on this line. Unfortunately, these closed down in 1930. We can just see the embankment behind this industrial estate. A glassworks was built here, destroying much of the trap bed. We pick it up again here, where it passes behind the remains of Barnsley Main Colliery. After crossing Pontefract Road, we're now in what's known as the Dern Valley Park. After crossing the River Dern, we come to the site of Oakwell Junction which was just about centre picture here. A short branch left here, crossing the River Dern to serve a glassworks at Hoyle Mill. Here the line passes the remains of the Barnsley Aqueduct, demolished in 1953. The trap bed has been built on here. We can see this bridge which carried the line under the A61 Wakefield Road. A nice survivor is this good shed, although the Weybridge office has recently been demolished. We rejoin the line further up, just off Smithies Lane. There's a steady climb here up to New Lodge.
There's been quite a bit of reclamation work going on around here. The trap bed was at a lot lower level than what the path is. As we pass under Wakefield Road, we enter the site of Stain Cross and Mapper Well Station. There are a few platform remains, but very little. The station house survives here and is now a private residence. The former station approach is now public footpath. We are now at Warncliffe Woodmore Junction. The line branching off to the right went to serve a coal mine. As we head towards Royston, we cross this embankment before heading into a cutting. Unfortunately it's flooded so we'll have to take a deed to a throw a field. A 
level crossing on Lee Lane took the line towards Royston. Just past this new housing development, again the trap bed becomes flooded so we need a detour. This is looking the other way, past the remains of a farmer's bridge. The second station we come to was Notton and Royston, which was up on this embankment. The station house survives and is now private residence. There are no remains of any platform here, but we can see where station buildings once stood. Just ahead of us now, the trap bed has been returned to farming. The cutting to the left took a spur down to join the Midland line at Royston Junction. Our line across the Midland Railway leads to the Derby line on a stone viaduct, the pillars of which can still be seen. Again from here the line has been returned to farming. We rejoin the line where it crossed this tramway before heading up to Rail.
We're at the site now of Ryle Railway Station, remarkably well preserved. After leaving Ryle, this cutting led to a viaduct. This has now been demolished and the area is now woodland. The remains of a farmer's level crossing, the only one we found on this entire line. All four gate posts are still standing. We're at the site now of Winterset Junction. The line heading off right went to Nostal South Junction. The line to the left here in the trees went through a cutting to Nostal North Junction. Very little remains now of this junction. In the early 1970s a huge coal loading hopper was built to serve a nearby open cast mine. This itself was demolished in the 1980s. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you shortly.